help us better understand the numbers and what White House economic advisor Christina Romer just told us. We're now joined by John Herman, senior fixed income strategist at State Street Global Markets. Bloomberg has crunched the numbers and ranks John the number one economic forecaster for the U.S. unemployment rate. That means he's one of our Bloomberg best. He gets it right. John, great to have you back with me. You were listening to what Christina you, had, had to say. What, what's your reaction here? Uh, you know, our, our take is that things are just a little bit more serious than what Christina was letting on. You know, from our standpoint, we think next six to 18 months, the U.S. economy is real, is staring at a what we call a growth compression, which means GDP growth closer to the two percent handle than to the three percent, and that's below you know significantly below potential. In that kind of environment, growth that tepid, the the economy is vulnerable to shocks from you know whether internally from shocks or external, and uh, there wouldn't take much, I don't think, to lead to a more, you know, a greater seizure of confidence that could actually precipitate a double dip. So we are monitoring the data very, very carefully, monitoring all our indicators for some kind of sign about whether we're tipping towards that point or not. John, let me ask you to, to focus in on the jobs picture here. You were the most accurate forecaster of the jobs numbers we got. I think you expected a gain of 88,000 private sector jobs. We got 83,000. Uh, yep. Christina Romer said, and the president said this morning, that we're on the right track as far as uh, job creation, as far as labor market's concerned. Do you agree? You know, here, here's the, uh, the answer would be no. We, the short answer is no. And the reason why is this. We knew going into the situation that, uh, you know, with this census hires, you have the census hires in May, and then they flip onto the private payrolls in June. And with that flip, if you look back in history, the average size of that monthly gain was around 200,000. And we only managed 83,000. That's significantly below. So, so the issue is going forward, when we get to the months of July and August, believe it or not, even if, uh, even if we're able to manage, you know, say, 70, 50, 60, 70,000 gains in private payrolls, the census workers rolling off. We're looking at, for example, to for July, total payrolls for July, early estimate right now is minus 43,000. Early estimate for August is about minus 3,000. So, you know, the next couple of headlines are going to be very soft. And again, we're also facing the risk of state and local jobs falling uh, significantly over the next three to four months. All right, so John, the president says the economy is heading in the right direction, but we know you look at housing, it's not move, moving in the right direction. The deficit uh, and our nation's debt certainly not moving in the right direction. And manufacturing data we got uh, this week showing that that's starting yes. not to move in the right direction. What needs to be done to ensure that we don't go back into recession? This is, this is going to be a real challenge and a very difficult challenge here. What we needed was, was for the private sector to begin to ramp up activity, ramp up risk appetites, and begin to spend. And what we saw instead was we saw businesses stockpiling their profits in the form of cash. We saw households increasing their savings rate. We saw banks unwilling to lend. We saw very few uh, people, you know, consumer or businesses showing up to borrow. So you add it all up, the private sector sector is very, very cautious, very hesitant. And in that environment of extreme deleveraging, there's very little, I think, that the, the central, you know, either the central bank or the, or the fiscal, the federal government can do to really stimulate us out of it, to really encourage the kind of risk appetite to get us going. So I think at this point, we're going to have to, you know, sort of brace ourselves for something that might be a little bit on the unpleasant side. It's a real change wow. in tone for the, from the John wow. Herman we used to know. I know. Uh, we appreciate you, though, spending some time with us. John, thanks very much. Again, John Herman of State Street Global Markets, the most you, accurate forecaster of jobs. Care, uh, he really hit the nail on the head.